the Morris Science Temple or the Morris uh, Science Temple, they, they think they're Muslims too. They're not Muslims either. They're all Freemasons. The Moors spawned the Nation of Islam. That's where Farad Muhammad came from. Now, the Nation of Islam, they like to lie about that. They like to say, no, that's not where he was. Never in the Moors Science Temple. But that's what everything shows. That's where he got his doctrine from. And, of course, the Nation of Islam spawned, spawned the Nation of Gods in the Earth, whose number is seven. It's all Freemasonry. So... This is why they keep these groups around. The Moors are not Muslims. They don't have, they don't worship the Quran just like the uh, Nation of Islam. They have their Circle 7 Quran, which is the revised Quran by uh, noble Drew Ali. That's their God. That's their leader. But see, when money, positions, they get involved and people stick to these doctrines. And if there was no money, no control over people, these groups would have disbanded long ago. But money, position, think about it. If if a black guy doesn't have a job, but he's a part of the Nation of Islam or the Moors, and you ask him, hey, man, what do you do for a living? He'll say, well, I'm a minister at Muhammad's Mosque, number 88. Sounds good, right? Okay, he, he's doing something. But they're really not doing anything. <laughs> so they're made up titles. These are all Freemason-based things just to razzle-dazzle the mind of blacks. Just like Sarnetta, House of Consciousness, all these people, what they do is they preach nonsense. It would make more sense if you were all millionaires and you have a worry in the world. Then, then it will make some sense. But since a lot of black people are struggling, uh, talking about evolution, God, the universe, stuff that can't be answered. See, that's the concept of God. See, it, 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 you can't provide answers. You can only use your imagination. And, and then you have a human being who tells you how to think about a God or about an organization. But how do they know? They never met God. Nobody ever has. And if anybody says that they have, they're lying. Louis Farrakhan says that he has. He's lying. (laughs) Unless his God is the white man. Because that's who he worships. That's who he goes over the house to eat. The same Jews that he criticized. Those are his buddies. They have him on speed dial. So the Moors and their Muslims. Again, no beards. No robes. No Quran. They shout Islam, but that's ritual stuff. That's not any real Islamic thing that's going on here. You know, this is all garbage. So, you know, this is something you you definitely have to keep in mind. So, again, they're not Muslims. It is all, as they used to say in the 70s, it's jive. That's what it is. It's jive. So, put a check mark on that one. Now, I'm going to move along.